Well, hello everyone. It has been a while since I've done a dressing room try-on. So today I'm at the Athleta store in La Cantera. If you're here in San Antonio, I highly recommend coming in person. The staff here is super friendly and super knowledgeable. But before I get into all the stuff that's behind me to try on, I thought I would walk you through today's outfit. So this is brand new to me. I love this. It's from the new Amazon Aware line. It's a little puff sleeve sweatshirt. It is the softest material. It reminds me very much of the Spanx Air Essentials, but obviously at a far lower cost. And then these are older. These I picked up, I think, in a different dressing room try-in. I can't remember, but they're from Banana Republic, and I will link everything down below. Rothy's shoes and very simple earrings. All of this chosen so it is easy to get in and out of stuff as we try on all the things. So if you're new to this, just know that everything will be listed in the order that I try it on with the sizing and the prices and the links. And then at the very end, I'll go home and I'll share with you what made it home because we don't just come to try on, we come to buy. Let's start with tops. It's just easier to try all the tops on and then move to bottoms. But this one caught my eye. It's a sweatshirt, but it's a little bit nicer than just a standard, just crew neck, throw it on. I like this sort of layered v-neck. I don't know what you would call this. It's really nice detail in here. It has these these things. I don't like these. Now I know that Athleta is most of the stuff is meant to be worn in some sort of fitness thing, but I would prefer that they not have these because the wrists are super tight. The rest of it is feels really lovely, and I like this banding on the bottom. It does come in several other colors. I love everything about this sweatshirt. By the way, I'm wearing it in a small, but I'm really not a fan of this. Let me show you why. If you like to push your sleeves up, it's really tight here and you really can't. And if you want to just fold it over, let me show you that. It's okay. Just a little bulky. I'm being really picky, but this is not the most inexpensive sweatshirt, so I want all the things. So I like a lot about this. I'm just not sure that this is going to make it home. Okay, this is interesting. This is their Urbanite top, and it's a twist on a traditional button-up shirt. Obviously, it has the collar and the hidden placket, or the hidden buttons on the placket, which is nice. I think you can tell, at least in this color. You can't really see my bra. I'm wearing a nude tone bra, but you can definitely see this, like, skin. Um, that doesn't bother me, but it might bother some of you. I am wearing it in a small. Okay, so here's the interesting thing. Look at the sleeves. So it's not a button. I kind of like that it's open like that. I would probably want to roll it up. This is, I think, 100% recycled polyester. It's interesting. I don't know. It's super lightweight, like super lightweight. I just don't know if it would actually get hot because it is polyester and it doesn't breathe. It's obviously, it wrinkles, so I don't know what the advantage is over regular natural materials, but I'm intrigued by this. I'm not, this is not a no. I'll keep you posted. All right, before I change out of that collared button-up shirt, I did want to show you this blazer. It's different. I First of all, I, I'm not that familiar with athleta wear, and when I think of athleta, I do not think of work wear. But, so this is intrigued me. This I think it's like called their Prima Twill or Prima Loft blazer, and it has zippered pockets. So it's like athleisure, but it's not. And it's made out of sort of, it feels like fitness material. And then obviously it has this unique feature that it ties. Let me show you the back. I'll insert a picture of the back because the light is reflecting weirdly and it's not letting me flip the camera around. But I, I like this concept. I don't know that I love, let me untie this. So if you wear it open, which is how I prefer to wear my blazers, then you've got these guys just dangling. Obviously you could do a little tie, tie it in a little loop and you're good to go. I do like a lot of the part. I like the zippered pockets. I like that it has a gathering, like a little elastic gather in the back, so it gives you some shape. I'm just not sure about these dingly bits. But this is an interesting play on a corporate look. They also have matching pants. We'll get to those momentarily. Let's try on a few more tops. Okay, I'm definitely seeing a trend where they're mixing up athletic wear, athleisure, and more work type looks all in one piece. So this is a sweatshirt, but it's not. It's more like a like a knit top. It's not as heavy as a sweatshirt. It has a nice little split hem, high low. Here's the hybrid part. The sleeves, I don't know if you how well you can tell, are they feel like a dress shirt, like poplin cotton. And then I think you can see the holes 
underneath that's more venting like athletic wear so you get several things in one shirt i really like this concept and i think it's fine with a little tuck as well it's pretty cute it's like a dressy sweatshirt it's pretty cool personally i wish it came in a v-neck that is personal preference i, I like this this is the athletic designers really are thinking outside the box with this one i'm a fan last of the tops I really like this one let me get you up close it just looks like a basic sort of light brown but there's tiny little shimmers in here this does come I saw it in a beautiful plum and I think a few other shades but I like that this is a basic brown dressed up a bit it is a very deep racer back I'll insert a photo of what that looks like on the model I'm wearing it in a small I'm pretty sure it's meant to be a lot tighter and worn more for athletic events but I love this idea as a standalone top or layered under like a cardigan right now or even a blazer. So I really like this. I love this concept. This one is definitely coming home with me. Spoiler alert. Okay, I am standing like this because I was being really optimistic on the sizing. These are four, I'm just gonna stand like this. These are four petite and there's some serious camel toe happening here. So um, I was very thinking very positively so i think i am definitely more of a size six in these and definitely not a petite i don't like where they're hitting me so i'm gonna go ask the very helpful um dressing room monitor to find me these in a size six regular because this is this is indecent okay while she's looking for the four regulars let me share these these are what caught my eye as soon as I walked in the door. And these are a size four, and I feel like these fit me just fine. They have a really nice flat front, very stretchy. Actually, you know what? It goes the band all the way around. It's flat. The There's no actual zipper or button here. It just simulates one. And then there are functional zipped pockets here. Yay! Okay, so there are functional zipper pockets here. Love. Then, you know, the cargo trend is big. How do these fasten? I wanted to make sure I wasn't ripping these apart. So the cargo here fastens with a snap. And then something really cool is the hem. You can either leave it like this or you can move the cuff over and make it a more tapered look. I love these. These come in a lot of colors. And honestly, you can wear these to work for sure. I love this. Yep. Very nice. Well done, Athleta. Okay, take two with the Brooklyn pants. These are four regular and she explained them to me. Petite didn't just mean that the length was shorter, everything was brought up. So we were having some serious camel toe issues. I'm still feeling a little self-conscious about that, at least in this color. I know they come in lots of other colors. Again, I really like this flat front. It makes it look a lot dressier than it is. There's my sagging little belly button. So you know where it comes, normal pockets little split on the side, and then there are pockets that zip shut on the tush. So again, depending on your work environment, especially if you're a teacher, you could definitely wear these to work. Um, they're very lightweight. I would size down, so like I think I'm more of a six in real life than a four, but if you are concerned about the crotch, especially if you're taller, I would look into sizing up one. Okay, these are the last pants I'm going to share with you today. I didn't button them all the way because I just grabbed another size. These are the Stellar Flare Pants in a four. And I can get them closed. And they're not even that uncomfortable, but they are snug. All in here. Very snug. This is a dead giveaway. Stuff's oozing over the side. You don't, it don't fit you right. So let's size up to a six and see how those go. Okay, so these are the sixes. And they're a little, they're still snug. Like, I, I mean, I have room, they're very stretchy, but I guess they are designed to be very fitted through, I'd say, the knee, and then they flare out, hence the name flare pants. They are long. I would definitely need to wear these with heels, which I think any flare pants just should be worn with heels. That's my thing. Um, a couple little design things you should know about. This closes with a double hook and then secures with a snap on the inside, which I prefer over a button. I love that. I feel really comfortable in these actually. I think you just need to be aware of the, you know, fitted fit through here and through the thighs. Um, it does do a good job of hiding my saddlebags. They're not totally obvious. So if you are an hourglass figure like me, a little curvier here, 
you know, I, I am of two minds because definitely a flare shape is better on our body type, but I would prefer it skims the body instead of hugs it, especially for a more formal pant. I don't know that this would be appropriate at work if it's a conservative workplace. I'm going to skip these. As I'm getting dressed, <laughs> this is so embarrassing. I just want to show what I'm talking about. So these are the Banana Republic pants that I'm obviously going home in, and they close with, you know, the hooks in here. But it secures, oh my god, I'm so embarrassed, it secures with this button instead of a snap, which just means you have to be extra nimble with your fingers. So um, I like this option that has, it has the snap instead. So just, boop. Just a little, tiny little touch. I think it's a very nice idea. The pants are not for me, but I like a lot of the design features. On my way out, on my way to the checkout counter, I did see these jackets and they're adorable. The outside feels more like a sweatshirt material and then they're lined with some sort of faux Sherpa and just so cute. I think would be great for this part of the year going into spring. As I was walking out, I just thought this was slightly hilarious. You have Athleta here. In the distance there you have Lululemon and then Peloton and then is it Aloe Yoga opening? Is the universe trying to tell me something? Okay, I am back and full disclosure, it's the next day, hence the new outfit. And if you want all those details, yesterday's outfit details and makeup, today's outfit details and makeup, please do check the description box where all the links for all the things are listed. Okay, so first of all, can I just say, one of my favorite things about Athleta is their shopping bag, which obviously is reusable, very handy, very, very shiny. And here's the thing, I love Athleta clothing. I've done a haul from them before, but I do think a lot of what they offer for what it is is very expensive. Now I know compared to Lululemon, it's not as bad, but I think it's still a high price point for something like a basic sweatshirt. And the value of it is lost on someone like me who is not a hardcore fitness person. I'm not even a low core fitness person. So I'm not going to put this kind of clothing to the test and the advantages of maybe a better quality workout piece of clothing is gonna be completely lost on me. But I do think they shine, especially in the summer. For sure, one of my all time favorite pairs of linen pants uh, and joggers are from them and I'll list them below because they're currently available and the Presidio dress is Again, one of my all-time favorite summer dresses. I'm gonna order another one in the blue for this year But I did buy a couple of things so like I alluded to in the dressing room There are a few things I liked but for what they were I thought the price was high I did purchase two items. I gave myself a budget of $400 and I spent 210 including tax and I only got two things, and that's why I quit at two things. So I did pick up, or purchase, I should say, the Momentum Seamless Tank, and I just wanted to give a little update on this. When I checked out, I talked to the cashier about it, and these are supposed to be a, more fitted. They are meant to be worn either to work out or as actual regular clothing. So if you want to wear this as a workout top, I would recommend sizing down one because obviously as you saw in the try-on portion, it was a little bit looser on me. And I will actually style these pieces in future videos. Today we're just gonna walk through what I purchased. I think a nice neutral color like this is something I can utilize year round. And I like it has this teeny tiny micro silver glitter in here that just gives it a little something extra, which it should because full price this was $65. Also the other nice thing about Athleta is they are always having sales. Unfortunately, nothing that I bought was on sale. Okay, the other thing that I bought was the endless cargo pant. I just love this idea. I talked a little bit last year how I want to widen my wardrobe as far as not just always going for the jeans in when it's cold enough, I should say, to wear jeans. And I don't always like the formality of more structured pants. So I think these endless cargo pants are a great hybrid between a full on loungewear and something a little more elevated. They look like nicer pants, but they don't have that binding structured feeling of more formal pants. And these do come in two other colors, sort of a khaki and then black. And then in case you couldn't see it in the try on the cuff here so it has this snap and then if you want it more tapered then you just move that snap over and make it a more fitted 
ankle, which I think is really, really cute. So I am loving this. And then I got this in a size four. And here's the receipt that you can't see very well, I guess. But yes, the total was 21001, tax was 1601. And the subtotal for just the clothes was 194. So that is my dressing room try-on for the month. I would love to hear from you. Let me know where you want me to go next. I usually start off a video by telling you what that budget is. I should have led with that. Usually it's anywhere from 200 to $400. And I love for you to give me some suggestions on where we spend that money next month. Hope you had fun going to the mall with me. I had fun bringing you along and I'll see you in the next video. 